Today we're making a hand sculpted chocolate cream cookie in polymer. So start with your two cookie circle shapes drawn up on a piece of paper, nice and clear. Sheet of non-stick baking paper over the top allows you to sculpt directly over those two circles. You'll need two balls rolled of the same size of your polymer clay and just pop them over each one. Now I'm going to do one at a time here. I'm using a texturizer to get the cookie crumbly effect here. This is a taxidermy product. You don't need a special product like this. I'm using it because I have it. You can use a kitchen scourer, a scrubber. You can use a crunched up, rolled up aluminium foil. Anything that will give a nice crumbly effect on your clay. And we just work at flattening that out and you can keep going and working it until you get to the edge. And you can see that working this way there's no room for mistake. You just keep going until you get to the edge of your black line. So you can see we've got both of our cookie shapes to a point that look right. We've got them nicely just within those circles so they're going to match. Remember they're going to be sandwiched together. I will just advise to tidy up your edges. That's why a scourer works so well too. Tidy up your edges because you have to remember that a cookie has a little bit of a lift. It doesn't go completely flat. Okay, so we want a nice little bit of lift. So you've tidied up your edges like so. Because we're working on paper, this is what makes it so easy. We can now just slide those cookies across and we've still got the use of our cookie shape. And this is going to be our cream for the centre. A little ball, a little less than what you had for your cookies. Depends on the size that you're making. I like to really be able to see the cream. I like a generous helping of cream. And by doing it over this circle, you can actually decide just how much your cream you want. Just roll it out. It just needs to be quite basic. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it does need to be flat because you're going to be gluing it between the two. So now we have our cookie cream that goes in the centre. We haven't been too perfect, but you can see that we've only flattened that out to leave a little bit of extra biscuit exposed. Okay, so now we pop those into our oven. Now follow your manufacturer's instructions for your firing. Super Sculpey usually I find is best baked at about 130 degrees for something this size, probably around about 20 to 25 minutes. Now that our cookie pieces are baked, we can go ahead with the painting. Now I'm going to show you a very simple technique. Painting is usually the thing that uh, stops a lot of people from, from sculpting, um, but the technique I'm going to show you is really simple. I have mixed up here just some water-based acrylics. Now I've used burnt umber and a skin tone base mixed up to make the colour of milk chocolate. That's what we're after. What we have to remember is we're going for a realistic look. So in a real cookie that's baked, the very outside of the cookie is the darkest part. Okay, so we're going to put our first layer on. Now this method is fantastic, but it is messy. Okay, so we just want to use, and don't use expensive brushes because we're really going to give them a bit of a hard time, so just your cheapy brushes are fine, a rounded style brush, rounded on the end. Now I want you to get the paint right into all of those crevices, all over. You can see that your fingers have got to get a bit of paint on them, but that's okay. So there's no real, you don't have to be real clever here, you just have to get it covered. Okay, it's very important that the paint goes into all the crevices, so make sure that your mix has got enough water in it that it's quite, quite liquid and cover briefly the back. We are going to see a little way in, so we do want that done. Now you can just pop that one down while you do the other one. Now that your cookie halves are well covered with your paint, we just use a clean disposable cloth, something like what we call here a chucks. I've actually uh, dipped it in some water first and it, it's very slightly damp, okay, but just really a tiny bit damp. Okay, so we're going to pop these straight on the cloth and we just want to pat the excess away. Now what's going to happen is because we've done all that lovely texturising, what's going to remain is a darker colour in all of those 
creases there. So you get a lovely two-toned effect. So it's just patting. Don't really scrape at it and that'll just remove the excess. And you can see there already there's a bit of a two-toned effect. That's exactly what we're after. Our two cookie halves uh, are dry, our first layer of paint. Now what we want to do is create a really great two-toned effect. What we need to do is use a darker colour. In this case I'm just using straight burnt umber because it's nice and dark and we're going to go straight over the top. Now use your cloth here because we don't want a saturated brush. Now the trick here, this is what makes painting these really easy. Use a big brush. You'll get into trouble if you use a small brush. Use a big brush and you can't go wrong. So we're going to make sure we haven't got too much loaded onto our brush and we're just going to go over it. And you can see that if you're just brushing across, you're only going to catch the top, the most risen areas. Okay, and it's not going to be going into your, your nice milk chocolate areas. Remember that on a cookie, the most external parts are the darkest. They're the parts that have browned the most. So it's actually the reverse of making something look 3D. Uh, we're actually trying to make it look really real. So same with this one, I'll show you again. You're just brushing across the surface. So that nice light colour is going to remain on the underside. Our cream filling disc just needs to be painted white because we won't see that centre part. You can hold on to that disc right in the middle. It doesn't matter if that very centre piece doesn't get painted because it's going to be sandwiched between those two cookies. So two coats of white, make sure that it's fully covered and then we'll let all three pieces dry. So let's assemble our chocolate cream cookie. I have mixed up a two-part epoxy resin glue here. I'm actually using the five minute set glue with this one which is fine because we don't have to treat the glue in any way. So we just get one half of the cookie, pile some on in the very centre and pop on our cream, check that it's centred and then same thing in the centre of the cream. You don't need much, it's such a strong glue and we really don't want glue seeping out around the edges of the cream so right in the centre is best and you don't need much at all. Pop that down and then we just pop our second layer on. Hold them together, check your cookie is even all the way around, making any adjustments now. Make sure that your cream is centred. This is the final flourish to finish our chocolate cookie. I'm using a, an acrylic matte varnish. It's a matte finish. The reason for that is we don't want a real shine. We want the cookie to look really natural. So we've got a matte varnish that's water based suitable for any of your acrylic paints. Now I've added some water, just made sure my brush is wet and I'm going to go just here's where your money is well spent on a varnish brush. It needs to be a beautiful soft brush and just quite liberally coat your cookie all over. Get that cream. Now not only does this give a slight matte sheen to your finished product but it also protects your little cookie from chipping and having any paint off. It really protects it because if you're going to make a whole plate full of these which I'm sure you will now you know how easy they are you'll be able to pile them all up on each other and they'll be safe from chips and cracks. So there's our chocolate cream cookie all finished. You can see when that matte varnish goes on initially it looks as though it will be a little shiny but once it's dried it's a great satin matte finish. Now remember now that you know how to make the little cookie of course you can change your colours. You could put strawberry cream, any colour cream you want in the middle. It's just a matter of changing colours. You can make a golden biscuit and you can see that you can make a beautiful assortment. Pop them on a little plate. We'll see you next time.